My name is Andrew Chimponda. I'm the current managing director of Shelter Afrique, which is the largest pan-African housing institution in Africa. In fact, it's the housing bank for, for Africa. Shelter Afrique is owned by 44 countries uh, in Africa and then the African Development Bank and the African Reinsurance um, Company. However, Nigeria on its own is a very strategic market for Shelter Afrique. In fact, it is the most important market. Why? Because according to our center of excellence in Shelter Afrique, we estimate the housing shortage to be 56 million in Africa. Out of that 56 million, the single largest continent, uh, country in Africa is Nigeria with a shortage of 22 million. Now, if you look at the countries that go after Nigeria in terms of shortage, it's 3 million in Tanzania. You're also looking at other countries like the Democratic Republic of, of Congo. And then after that, the two million is Kenya, South Africa, and we can mention a few more. So Nigeria is a very important market. Nigeria is a very strategic market. And we as South Africa find Nigeria as one of the most important uh, countries that we would like to make a difference in terms of assisting in resolving the shortage of affordable housing. So Nigeria is the third largest shareholder in Shelter Freak. So they literally are one of the biggest owners of Shelter Freak with um, the African Development Bank being the largest, and then coming after that is Kenya, and then, you, then you've got Nigeria. So because of that and because of the size of the market, we as Shelter Freak have come to Nigeria, we've set up a regional office in Nigeria, and we've also made sure that we also employ Nigerians in strategic positions within Shelter Freak to help guide the strategic direction for Shelter Freak. So just to mention a few, our head of the Center of Excellence is Dr. Mohamed Gambo from Nigeria, our communications director, Babatunde Oyateru from Nigeria, our accountant financial manager, Adedeji, is also from Nigeria, and we've made sure that the person who is in charge of our regional office, Sir Elizabeth, is also a Nigerian because of the importance we place in Nigeria and for us to have an understanding of the Nigerian market we need to work with Nigerians that is how we operate as Shelter Freak. Shelter Freak um, is very very passionate about the Nigerian market being a pan-African institution and you know when we look at the history we have with Nigeria we've approved 51 projects uh, with, uh, those are valued at 181 million let's talk for uh, 2019 in 2019 to deal with the demand side of housing we approved 20 million uh, worth of uh, projects Wema Bank 9 million um, Lapo another 7 million and then Prudential Mortgage Bank another 3.5 million so the challenge we've had is that we are there approving projects, but the deals and the money we are approving is not being taken up. The reason why it's not being taken up is because there are challenges around how you handle the, the currency risk. Let me explain the currency risk. So we lend in dollars, but those dollars now that we lend to our counterparties like the big tier one, tier two banks, they on lend that in Naira. So of course the banks do not want to take the risk because at the end of the day the cost to get cover uh, for that forex exposure is too high and then it makes the end product not competitive. So yes the currency or exposure risk is a fundamental risk um, uh, in the Nigerian market but on the supply side the big issue we have when we want to lend money is the issue of titles. We as a housing bank for Africa look at title deeds as a form of security and that is an area that still needs to be developed so that we can lend. That is why as Shelter Freak we've now um, put together a new business model the business model is now premised on public-private partnership. So we are looking 
at partnering with developers that have a track record and government institutions so that together we can be able to structure financing deals to be able to deliver large-scale affordable housing on the supply side. But on the demand side, we as Shelter Freak will continue to provide lines of credit to tier one, tier two banks. Shelter Freak can provide products no other bank can provide. We can provide 10 years longer than other banks. We can also provide competitive interest rates. The issue we have to deal with is the exposure, foreign exchange um, cover. Housing is fundamental to the physical, mental, social well-being and quality of life. In Nigeria, a large proportion of people live in slums and unplanned settlement because of their inability to own a house or rent decent accommodation. On this program, I analyze the challenges affecting the housing sector with stakeholders to prefer solutions. Each episode gives an insight into the housing plights of Nigerians. Most of the prices of those buildings are on the high side. How can the housing sector be made better? Will the dream of owning a house by an average Nigerian be achieved? What strategies are the government putting in place to provide affordable and decent housing for all? Let's bring you up to speed on the happenings in the housing sector. Keep your dates.